There is a story about Vishnu and a sage crow Kaka Bhushandi and an old woman, Kanjani, who lived at the foothills of Gandhamardhan mountains. She was extremely stingy and lived alone for fear that she would have to share her supplies and possessions. She was known to refuse to share food to the extent of not allowing even a grain of rice to be wasted or be left out in the utensil used for cooking. Vishnu wondered about the lady's fate in, the, in her next birth and wanted her to be charitable in this one, so that she may be looked after in her next. The sage crow Kaka Vushundi was given the task by Vishnu to approach Kanjani and sneakily grab some grains of rice and get away so that by allowing it to happen, the old woman would, would gain some plus point to help her in her next birth. Kaka Pushanti agreed to the plan and went to Kanjani's hut and waited for an appropriate moment. Kanjani was washing soap black ground to be cooked later. Sensing an opportunity, Kaka Pushanti flew in and picked up a single black ground in his beak and turned to escape. But alert, Kanjani in a swift move grabbed Kaka Pushanti and choked him so that a single black gram would not move past the neck into the stomach. Dipping her finger into Kaka Bhushandi's throat, Kanjani picked up the single black, black gram and allowed him to fly away. Defeated, the sage crow returned to Vishnu and described his ordeal. Vishnu was not one to give up and suggested to Kaka Bhushandi to open his mouth. Deep inside, very near the throat, Vishnu found that one part of the husk, cover of the black ram, had been left behind in the struggle. Vishnu was happy that Kanjani had been made to give up his micro food item, though in food charity, Kanjani would thus be taken care in her next.